wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I have this pink monochromatic glam look for you guys. I wanted to keep everything very pink, so my eyeshadow, my lipstick, my um, highlighter, my blush, everything just very pink based. So that's what I did. I just wanted something very feminine and girly. So yeah. So I am going to be filming a Q&A very, very soon. I want to say in like the next month. So if you guys could please leave me down below any questions that you guys might have like personal, funny, makeup related, any questions um, that you guys could ask me would be fantastic um, and I will answer those in an upcoming Q&A. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to follow my Instagram and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye! Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my face and I'm going to be using the NYX Honey Do Me Up. Okay, so then now to fill in my pores, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. So then now I'm going to go in with some Fix Plus. So for my foundations, I'm going to be mixing these two by Too Faced. They are the Born This Way. Um, this is Caramel and this is Honey. One's too light and one's too dark. So mixing them together gives me my perfect shade. So I'm only going to be going in with one concealer today, which is the Born This Way by Too Faced. Um, I'm going to be baking and I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, but I'm not going to bake like I usually do. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to take my powder and I'm going to put it underneath my eyes and then take more powder and then use that to push it in. Like really push it in like that and then leave it. Now usually I don't push it in or like um, work it in I just leave it on top and let it do its job and I usually use way more than this much but don't want it to be that intense like I'm literally just using um, what's on the top of the packaging and usually I would like dump it on the top now I'm going into my MAC mineralized skin finish natural in medium dark and I'm just going to set the remainder of my face. Okay, so I don't want any creasing, so I'm going to go in with this Lorac Behind the Scenes Primer. So then I'm going to be going in with my 35U palette by Morphe. And I'm going to use this white shade. To set my eyelids so we're going to go into my 35 B and we're gonna take this white shade just cuz of this white shade had shimmer so the reason why I'm using a stark white eye base is because I'm going to go in with like pinks and Pinks on darker skin tones don't really show up because they're a light color. Um, so when you put white, the eyeshadow obviously is going to blend out brighter. 
because it has a lighter base. So I'm actually going to take my blush. This is Fleur Power by MAC. And I'm going to pop this into the crease. Now obviously when you do a pink look, blushes are ideal because all blushes have pink undertones. Um, so yeah, you don't even need an eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be using all blushes because they're more effective and I don't have an all pink eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go in with Pinch Me, which is a little bit darker and more like mauve -y. And I'm going to put this in my outer V. I'm using the same brush. Um, so I'm just going to put this in my outer V just because since I have smaller eyes, this having a darker shade at the edge of my eye really makes it look like I have bigger eyes, which I don't. So I'm just going to place this shade in my outer V. So now I'm going to go into this um, Mellow Wine Blush from Wet n Wild and I'm also going to put this in my outer V. So I'm just going to put this in my outer V just to make it a tiny more darker and then I'm mixing all of those shades together to get rid of any lines. So I can't find like a light pink, so we're just going to have to mix two together. I'm taking my 35U palette and I'm taking this shade right there. And I'm going to start off by putting that shade. I was about to use an eye brush that had black eyeshadow. <sighs> Mess. So for bronzer, I'm using my Hourglass Radiant Bronze Bronzer. And I'm not really going OD with the bronzer just because I want this pink look to be more blushed than bronzed. But I still want to add the tiniest bit of definition. So I am going to contour just a little bit, the tiniest bit, um, just because. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with blush, and I'm using the first blush that we used in our crease called Fleur Power by MAC, and I'm not being shy with this. I mean, obviously, I don't want, like, clown cheeks, but I'm putting a little bit more than I usually do. And I'm making sure to, like, bring it a little bit further back than I usually do. A tip if you have hooded eyes and your lid color gets in your crease, look up like this, take your brush and blend out your crease. Because if you just go like this and you blend it out, you have product hiding underneath your crease. So when you really lift it up, it stretches up the lid and you can get in there. So I'm going to take Pinch Me and I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. Now a tip for when you're using pink on your lower lash line and you don't want it to look like you have pink eye, you want to take a red pink. So for me, I'm going to be taking um, Venetian Red right here from the, um, what the fuck is this, Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. Oh 
Okay, so then now you're going to go in with Pinch Me again, and you're just going to blend that out. So then now I'm going to put some white eyeliner into my waterline. For mascara, I'm using my Benefit Roller Lash. So then now we can do some highlighter. So of course I'm using a pink highlighter. I'm using Tourmaline from the Sun Dipped Glow Kit by Anastasia. And then I'm going to go back in with Fleur Power and add the tiniest bit just to mix in that highlight with the rest of the face products. Just because a lot of times when you do put your highlighter, since your highlighter has a more thicker consistency, it like erases the rest of your face makeup or like your cheek makeup. So if you just go in with highlighter and don't blend it out, it's going to be a line there because the highlighter is much thicker than your blush or your bronzer. So whenever you do put highlight, you do want to make sure to go back in with your brushes and just blend everything out because you, um, highlighters tend to kind of erase your cheek makeup because, once again, it's a little bit thicker. So for lips, I'm going to line my lips with the Sand Pink um, Lip Liner by NYX. And then I'm going in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Milan. I need a gloss. I'm going to go in with this clear um, lip gloss by Maybelline and just put a little bit on top. So this is the final look guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Do not forget to ask me your questions down below for my Q&A and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to follow my Instagram and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye! Wherever love goes there is also misery It's no mystery And you and I we got history Yeah Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy When we're in too deep And you and I, we got history